wherever you love the internet and welcome back to my quiet makeup series. This time I'll be showing you how I go on from doing my natural base. You can see that video right over here. Enjoy! I'm going to show you how I contour. Now I say I contour because this is just what works for me, what I found out works well for my face shape and with my technique skill set. There are thousands of different ways to contour. You also want to take into account your facial structure because everyone's is different. Everyone's cheekbones are set differently, jawlines, noses, everything is different. Now I like to use cream because I feel that really sticks on to the face and shows up a bit more. But I also have a powder and it has some different colors that my, my cream does not. I just feel like it's, it's more saturated and it's a little bit more visible and it blends well together better. So contouring is about one of my favorite things, shadows and highlights. Because your face naturally has shadows and highlights. There's shadows below your jawbone and the sides of your nose. Cupid's bow was that little dip on your upper lip, the temples of your face, crease of your eyes, and a little bit below your lip. And then the highlights are going to be on the apples of your cheeks, that's where your bone is, your chin, the bridge of your nose, your forehead, and just below your eye. Now with contouring, you're taking a shade or two darker and a shade or two lighter and you're just accentuating that and making sure it shows up a bit more and then you're blending those together to result in your base color. I like to do the foundation first just to have a set base and also to make sure that all redness is taken care of. I load up a little bit of a brown. I know it's it's dark, but blend it in, it's gonna fade in just fine. Then with your fishy face, trace below your cheekbone. And you want to stop where your bottom jawbone is because that comes back out again. And because it tapers off to the end here, typically, if you can do it, start with your makeup here and blend it out to the center. So it's dark right here and it starts to fade a little bit towards your mouth. Now sometimes because it blends, you almost can't see any of my contouring, so I like to do a little bit thicker layers. But this is just trial and error for you, and with your products you see what works best for you. Now I'm going to do with the temples of my forehead. Imagine little triangles right here. Like if you're thinking really hard, it's just right there. I got it. For smaller areas, such as the nose and chin, I like to use a small brush to make sure I'm not going over any boundaries. Just a square edged brush. I'm going to take my brow, load it up just on the edge. I'm going to draw a little line that's kind of a top to your nose, and then you see where it starts to go to the side? That's why the side of your nose is. I'm just going to draw a little line all the way from your eyebrow all the way down. Try to make it as straight as possible. Kind of curve it out at the end to meet the tip of your nostril. Then I'll be piled up with a little bit more brown just on the edge there. Kind of on the side because we're going to lay a brush flat and just stroke down, feathering it out. I like to go in that crease of my nostril because this has come out. So I like to leave that part alone. And get the very top of your brush and you're just going to do a little curve under your brow. Just bringing out more what is already there. It's all contour I noticed. Bringing out the shadows and highlights so it's a little bit more visible. Feather it out. And sometimes what I like to do is I will load up my sponge on that flat edge and just trace under my jawline. So that's another shadow. Now we're done, go down to the neck. Just blend it in. If you leave a bit too much, just use the clean side of your sponge. It'll act as an eraser. Sometimes I also like to do a little bit of shading on my cupid's bow. Let's blend that out a little bit. I'm going to take a light cream. Load it up. This I really have to load it up so it shows. Lay it on top of all of your shadow lines. Make a little triangle here. And again, I'll also be going over with a powder just to help so you can really see everything that's going on. I just feel it really helps enhance. You can make some little curves above your eyebrows. Your chin. I like to get my jawbone. I'm going to go back with my flat brush. I'm going to draw on my nose and on those sides. I'm going to take my big fat pookie brush. I'm just going to blend everything in. Let's start with the cheeks. Go along with your lines. Forehead, bring the brain in and out. Going over the direction of what you drew, how you drew it. Just a little bit under here. With the nose and lip area, since it is smaller and there is more precise and smaller details, I like to go over with the brush. Just feathering in those lines together, especially here. I like to go over the highlight or the lighter part first and then blend in the darker so that it doesn't muddy up all your colors. You are blending it together, but there it's a scumbling. You still see the highlights and shadows. They just feather in to each other. 
To set this in, because we're going to go over with our blush and our eyeshadow, we can use light powder, translucent powder. I have a face setting powder. This is a compact. Actually, I think I prefer to use a brush for this one. I like to use the sponges and compacts for more of my foundation when I really want to add on that color and kind of take care of getting rid of any final goodness that may be there, but this is going to set it in. It's just going to be a barrier. So the powder stays in the same area again. You're not swiping it away from all the hard work that you just did. Just little dabs and a little bit of roll. Make sure you're getting every square inch. I like to go back and just lightly, lightly do a little bit more of my powder contour. Just hitting those areas where you just want a little bit more shadow, a little bit more highlight. Just doing a little bit of touch-up work here. There you have it, lovelies. I do my contouring makeup. If you'd like to go on to the next steps from here, you can see how I do eyeshadow, blush, and my trick for eyebrows right up here. Or if you missed the first part, how I got to this part in the beginning, you can see how I apply my base foundation over here. I will see all of you lovelies next time. Bye!